Holy moly, this story I'm about to share with you guys uh, could not have dropped, I think, on a better day because earlier today we released an episode of the Nintendo Prime Podcast featuring Wolf Den and one of our Patreon backers that talked heavily about Nintendo's new policies for review copies of games due to game leaks, specifically at the time of leak of like Mario and Luigi's Banner Saga. But... It doesn't stop there. You know, in that episode, we talked about some other ways that, that were affected by Nintendo and YouTube and how uh, you, yes, you, could get started as a YouTuber and a little bit of advice for that. However, Nintendo did something here that I'm going to applaud them for. So, I don't know. You guys probably haven't heard about it because I maybe you have. I don't know. You guys probably pay attention to more than just me, but I haven't talked about it. Super Mario Odyssey leaked. In fact, Super Mario Odyssey leaked, I don't even know, uh, like a, a, few, a handful of days after we initially reported that Nintendo was cracking down on review copies. And one YouTuber so far, uh, I don't know if more are going to be affected, but one YouTuber in Hong Kong was banned for three months from YouTube for streaming Mario Odyssey before street date. Also, the videos that contain the stream have been deleted. Uh, this was obviously initiated by Nintendo. Nintendo of you know China or wh whatever. Nintendo of Asia, I'm not really sure. Uh, which Nintendo Institute over there? Heck, it could have came straight from Nintendo of Japan at that point. Because they're a lot closer to Nintendo of Japan than we are over here. Uh, man, that is some harsh, harsh stuff. But deserved. Uh for all the flack, you know, how I think Nintendo could have handled this situation with review copies of games better, the, like, immediately after doing that, having Super Mario Odyssey leaked, almost justified their stance. Um, and I still don't know. I don't know if Nintendo knows who leaked the game. I don't know if they, at that point, had inserted anything into the game to let them know, oh, which Switch or, or which uh, copy of the game is this that we sent out that did this so we could track down who we sent it to and uh, take care of that person. That's what we hope Nintendo is going to do moving forward, but I, we don't know for sure. But Super Mario Odyssey, with it being leaked... Um, I've been really avoiding talking about Super Mario Odyssey much because uh, the whole game's out there. Uh, you can go find an illegal copy of the game right now. You can play it right now. You can uh, find out everything you need to, you need or want to see about the game. The spoilers and the leaks are everywhere, and it's just terrible. It's a terrible situation. I mean, the game comes out in you know a day and a half, two days here, and yeah, people just can't can't wait. Uh, I understand. I understand the drive. I, I wish I was playing Super Mario Odyssey right now instead of making this video. But this to me feels like an appropriate action. Uh, for all... This is, this is the action I wish Nintendo would have taken, uh, if possible, against the person who leaked Super Mario. And now, granted, this person might not have been the leaker. Uh, because it says he was banned for streaming the game. Uh, it doesn't say that he was banned for leaking the game. But if Nintendo knows that someone's streaming the game or leaking the game or this or that, you got to come down hard. Um, there's a reason that I don't download any of these leaks. One, I don't support the notion of media members leaking games or even fans. If, say, fans got a copy of Super Mario Odyssey, I don't support the notion of them leaking games. We did do one video on Super Mario Odyssey leaks, but it was just screenshots. We were never going to show you any video. Uh, and it was more so to just talk about the fact that leaks are out there. Um, here's some some mild ones. Enjoy. Uh, we're not going to talk about them pretty much until launch. But this uh, case here is very interesting. I mean, I don't know who this YouTuber is. I, I, there's a link to um, to his uh, Twitter account, I guess, and to Chinese Nintendo who did the translating on this on Twitter uh, because Chinese Nintendo covers info about Nintendo in China. It's, oh, man... I don't even feel bad for the guy, even if he's not the one who leaked it. You have to know. You, you can't be so stupid to think that if you sh are streaming an illegal copy of the game, even if he had a legal copy, he, let's say he, for some reason, as a YouTuber, was given a legal copy of the game. There are NDA restrictions, and when you download an illegal copy of the game, even though you're not bound to an NDA per se, <laughs> you still can't be doing illegal things with that game. Streaming the entire game before release is, well, 
against Nintendo's rules. It's against the law, even, because it means that you're openly, if you don't have a media, if you have a media copy of the game, you broke your NDA, so you broke the law in that way. If you don't have a media copy and you're doing it, you're openly admitting that you have an illegal copy of Super Mario Odyssey, which, well, I mean, that's illegal. So, this... This feels like sweet justice. This is what I wanted Nintendo to do to the person who leaked the, uh, the the game that caused them to change the policies. I wish they would have contacted YouTube and be like, look, we're taking down this guy's videos on this game, and we really want to work with you and get this guy banned uh, for a while. Uh, three months can kill a YouTube channel. It really can. Uh, I don't know if this particular Chinese YouTuber has a very, very big channel. I don't know. I don't care. I don't care if this was PewDiePie. If you are leaking stuff like this, you need to be taken care of. And I'm glad that Nintendo and YouTube can come together to put a kibosh on this. Now, uh, has this affected any of the channels that might be leaking stuff in North America? No. In fact, while I was making this uh, video, I decided to look up Super Mario Odyssey leaks on YouTube just to see how bad the situation is here in North America. And sure enough, there are actually leaked versions of the game being played on youtube now obviously live streams are easier to catch because those get promoted by youtube and uh when they get promoted nintendo is going to catch on to it and that's probably how they caught this guy in china but even when i look at some of these people who have leaked uh videos out here you know not just news about it but like actual leaked footage from a copy of the game they've clearly obtained illegally. In fact, I'm going to call out this one YouTuber, uh, RIT123. Dude, I hope Nintendo comes after you and bans your channel. Not only is it very obvious you're playing an illegal copy of the game, uh, you're playing it on your computer through an emulator that your computer clearly cannot handle as the game is running at like 3 to 5 FPS. Um, I applaud you for your dedication to continuing to play the game at that FPS. But, uh, yeah, oh, Nintendo comes down on you. It just gets rid of your channel entirely. Uh, in fact, heck, while we're at it, why don't we call out some other people? How about uh, QQs, Q-U-I-Q-U-E-S, uh, space, colon, D. 151 views three days ago. Leaked exclusive gameplay of Super Mario Odyssey. I checked out that video as well. And, yup, again, it's being recorded by Bandai Cam, played on an emulator on your PC. Bye-bye. I hope Nintendo comes after you. In fact, each person I see on the first couple pages here, I'm going to send off to Golan Harris as a little present. I'm going to be like, hey, here's a bunch of people leaking your game, uh, playing illegal copies. Please contact YouTube and do something about it. That's how excited I am that they went after hard after this guy in China. Obviously, the leaks here on YouTube are not as bad. There's 56 filtered results when I look for Super Mario Odyssey leaked gameplay. There might be some other searches out there that could draw up some more. But yeah, this is not good. Um, I mean, look, there's even this other YouTuber, uh, Crafty Masters, uh, Super Mario Odyssey Heaven and Hell Kingdom leaked footage, contains spoilers. Like, I what? Like, g goodbye. Get out of here. All these, all these people that you know, I'm showing here in the screenshot, goodbye. Any of you guys leaking footage, done. I'm, I'm, I'm not. Th this stuff frustrates me. This is why I can't get review copies of games. This is why people who should be trusted can't get review copies of games because of not only the people, not just the people that are leaking the game, which is bad enough, but the people that have the audacity to download that illegal copy of the game and then put footage of it online before launch. Oh, it's so frustrating. You're ruining it for people who don't want to see this stuff yet. And on top of that, you're ruining it for media members. I, this is just a really frustrating situation. But thank you, Nintendo, for coming down hard on that person in China. I hope to help you here go hard down on some of these people in North America and or Europe. This is just ridiculous to me. Uh, guys, I don't care if you personally right now are playing a leaked copy of Super Mario Odyssey. I don't care. I don't care if you're playing it in your house. I don't care if you're playing it on your Switch, on an emulator. I don't care. Keep it to yourself. I, I think it's wrong that you're doing it, but you know what? I'm not, I can't stop you. Just like I couldn't stop people who played the leaked version of Pokemon Moon last year. It's fine. Play the game. Just don't do everyone a favor. People who are waiting for the retail copy, do not put videos of it online at least until the game launches. And I mean, for people with Super Mario Odyssey, like really, if your computer can't handle it, definitely don't put those videos online because it's very obvious that you're playing an illegal copy of it. I mean, especially one that has the Bandai Cam logo uh, watermark on there, which, no, oh man. Anyways, folks, 
Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Are you happy Nintendo went down hard on China, uh, on this Chinese YouTuber? Are you hoping that they go hard down on these people that I've screenshotted now and I'm going to be sending off to Nintendo? Please let me know down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Rufflejance from Nintendo Prime, and if you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike this video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more content just like this. And hey, you know what? I might as well mention it. There's about 24 hours or so, a little bit less, to enter our Super Mario Odyssey giveaway. If you haven't done it yet, there's a link down in the description below. You literally have you know, a little bit less than one day left to get your entry in. I will be drawing entries for the game tomorrow i'm either going to do it live on the live stream or uh, i might do it before the live stream i know whoever wins that means you're not going to get your copy of super mario odyssey on day of release i understand in fact you probably won't even get it over the weekend because that's just the way shipping works um but hey it's a free copy of the game i don't think anyone can uh, complain too much i understand uh the logistics of this giveaway so in the future when i do do giveaways for games that haven't released yet i'm going to make sure that i draw a winner uh maybe about a week before the game comes out to give me time to exchange details and get that copy shipped out so you can have it on release day uh but yeah learning learning pains growing pains right Thank you so much, though, for everyone who has entered. I wish you guys all luck in becoming the winner of this giveaway. We are going to have a new giveaway as well coming out uh, next month. I'm not going to tell you what that giveaway is yet until we're done with this one. But thank you so much for all of your support here at Nintendo Prime. And you know what, folks? I will catch you in the next one.